Hello guys, Aaron here again, home for break, here in fabulous LaFountain, Indiana, out in the country. And I'm here to give you another bowl prediction today. It is the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl between Boise State and Oregon State. This game is coming on at 8 o'clock tonight. I've been lazy about making these videos because I've been home and distracted. It's the holidays, sue me. Anyways, it's Christmas Eve and we got a great game today. It's probably one of the better matchups of the whole bowl season. It's really hard to predict, so I'm just going to start by going about the two different teams' seasons. All right. So, guys, we're going to start with Boise State, the consistent Broncos, 8-4, and four, one of the worst seasons they've had, but until 8-4, and four, I guess not a bad season. Um, they're kind of coming into this a little different than they expected. They lost their head coach, who took over the job at Washington. Their uh, starting quarterback, Southwick, got sent home for apparently urinating off a balcony of the hotel they were in. That's a good one. Um, that won't really bother them too much, though, because they're probably going to start Hedrick. We'll get to that here in a minute, though. So let's just talk about their season. They started off a, team, a game at Washington. They always have a big non-conference game early in the year, it seems like. This one was no different. Washington was a really good team. Um, just a few ticks away from being one of the best teams in the Pac-12. And they gave... They, they they did their best. That's all I can say. They got beat thirty eight to six. It was a blowout. Washington was just too good, and they just kind of lost it bad. I won't lie. After that, they won games they were supposed to, and then they went to Fresno State, who you guys might have already seen get drilled by USC earlier in this bowl season. Well, the time Fresno State was a contender, and they beat Boise State forty one to forty in a nail biter. Other than that, though, Boise State won all the games they're supposed to. They beat Utah State 34-23. That's a bowl team. They beat Nevada 34-17. Um, they won at Colorado State, who you guys saw win the Gilded New Mexico Bowl a few, a few days ago. The only bowl pick I've gotten wrong so far. Uh, they beat them 42-30. Um, they lost uh, at BYU 37-20. BYU drilled them. And they lost at San Diego State late in the season, 34-21 in overtime. But they won all of their home games, and they won the Colorado State away game, which is a big one. They just kind of struggled a little bit on the road, and they lost most games by a little margin. So the BYU and Washington games were pretty lopsided. But overall, they went 8-4. and four. They went 6-2 and two in conference play. They were a pretty solid team. They ran the ball a lot and passed a lot. They were 31st and 32nd in the nation in the two of them. Passing for 269 a game and rushing for about 202. Uh, they scored about 39 points a game, which is pretty dang good. It's top 20 in the nation. And they only gave up about 24 a game, which is top 40 in the nation in its own right. But once again, as I'm going to say with a lot of teams, you have to take into account the strength of schedule. Anyway, that's enough from them for now. Let's go ahead and get into Oregon State, the Beavers. Came into the season with big hopes. Thought they were going to have a great year. They had Sean Mannion coming back, one of the best quarterbacks in college football. And then they uh, they laid an egg. They played Eastern Washington in the very first game of the year, an FCS opponent at home. You know, you expect like the 50-point blowouts, but they actually got beat upset 49-46 to 46 in that game. But that wasn't to discredit Eastern Washington. They played one heck of a game. I remember it. Oregon State actually started out really good after that. They beat Hawaii like they're supposed to, survived Utah at Utah, which, if you can just ask Stanford, Utah was a better team than their record showed. They beat San Diego State 34-30, same team that, as you might recall, beat Boise State in overtime late in the year. They beat Colorado, of course. They beat Washington State, who was actually pretty good. Uh, they won at California. So they came into the year really solid after that opening upset they won six in a row were six and one looking like they might be a conference content title contender and sean Mannion was playing lights out he had like 19 touchdowns and only like three picks or something like that i don't know if that's exactly right sorry for the misled stats of so boys but um after that they struggled they hit the brunt of their conference schedule and played one of the most brutal brutal five-game stretches in college football this year, playing Stanford, USC, Arizona State, Washington, and Oregon to finish the year, and they lost all five. Most of them were competitive. It was 2012 against Stanford, 31-14 against USC, 30-17 against Arizona State, 
And actually, at the end of the year, they only lost by one point, 36-35 to Oregon. Washington was the only exception. They just drilled them 69-27. to But overall, Oregon State was still good enough at 6-6 six and six to sneak into a bowl game. Uh, I think they're better than their record shows. They just had a brutal conference schedule. I mean, they won every game they were supposed to. They were kind of right there in the middle of the road in the Pac-12, and it showed. I mean, they were close, but they just never quite pulled off the big games and the big wins. Overall, this team passes the ball a ton. Uh, 382 yards a game passing, third in the nation. Sean Mannion is a stud. 36 passing yards, or touchdowns, 4,400 passing yards. I mean, these guys are going to throw the ball a lot. They're going to spread the field. They're going to do everything they can. And a lot of the receptions are going to go to Cooks. Stu had over 1,600 yards. He's actually like 51 yards, I believe, off Marquise Lee's conference record from last year. And I really do think he could get it by the end of this game. Coming up later today. I mean, these guys, they just pass the ball so much. But they don't run it that much. They actually only average 86 yards a game running. It's 118th in the nation. You're, you know what you're getting from. A man is going to be tossing the rock, rock a lot. And it's going to be on Boise State to try to stop him. They score about 35 points a game, a little under, but they also gave up about 32. But once again, you have to bring in the strength of schedule. If they played the same schedule Boise State did, you have to assume they'd put up more points and give up less because they were earlier in the year against the weaker teams in the Pac-12 and non-conference games. It's a little more, I guess you could say, like the schedule Boise State played. So going into this, this game is hard really to predict. These two teams are kind of hard to get a read on. Boise State's going to have an interim coach. It's going to be one of their assistants. Um, I know they've got Harson coming in, but I think their assistant's named like Bob Gregory. He's pretty good, I imagine, at coaching. I think he'll be all right for him. I don't think you're going to see any major change, but still, I think I think it'll be okay for him. I think they'll hold out. I just think they're going to be a tick off. It's going to be up to their running back, Ajay, I can never say his name right, it's fine, to run the ball a lot because Oregon State's actually got a really good passing defense. Their rushing defense so leaves a little to be desired, so I think Boise State's going to have to hit the ground a lot, and I think their passing defense is really going to get tested. I think Oregon State's going to put up a lot of yards, and I think overall it's going to come down to which team is able to move the ball without turning it over. Because Mannion was prone to interceptions late in the year. And Oregon State's defense got, I think, 19 picks on the year, which is one of the best in the nation. So Boise State could really be in trouble here, especially with their starting quarterback gone. Uh, Hedrick threw for 1,400 yards and 15 touchdowns this year. So I don't think it's going to be a big issue, but it could be something that comes into play. But overall, I think this game's going to be a little bit lower scoring than people think. I think it's going to be final score maybe Maybe 30s for the winner, 20s for the loser. I think it's going to be close, come down to the last minute or two. And ultimately, I think Oregon State's going to take it. Just because I think they're a little bit better team and the coaching difference is going to play out. I think the final score is going to be 31-27 to 27 Oregon State with the Beavers getting a touchdown about the four-minute mark left in the game being the difference. Who knows if I'll be right, though. <laughs> Check, a, check it out, uh, comment below if you guys want to give your own predictions or if you just want to do like the dudes after the USC game and tell me I suck because I'm, I mean, you can only predict so much in these. I mean, I'll, I'm willing to admit if I'm wrong, it's fine. Just let me know what you guys think. And good luck to both teams. Later.